Namaskar to my viewers and listeners. I am Dr. Priyanka Suryavanshi, working as Assistant Professor in Department of Home Science at Khwaja Moindin Chishti Language University. In the previous lecture, we were discussing psychoanalytical perspective and psychosexual theory given by Sigmund Freud. In this lecture, we'll be discussing psychosocial theory given by Erickson. So let's start with the theory. So, uh, as we have discussed earlier also, Erickson was influenced from the work of Sigmund Freud and uh, he uh, again framed his own theory uh, based on social perspective. And uh, instead of five stages, he covered the whole lifespan of human being and gave eight stages of psycho-social uh, theory. So, let's discuss the assumptions that uh, Erickson had for his theory. So, as we have discussed, the development has uh, two perspectives in that era and uh, one was that development is continuous and the second was that development happens in stages. So this theory uh, states that development happens in stages. So Erickson has given eight stages of psychosocial development. Psychosocial challenges or crisis was the term used by Erickson. So he say, he told that in every stage, human being faces uh, certain psychosocial crisis and if the uh, being is able to resolve that crisis, they move on healthy into the next stages. And if that, uh, uh, that uh, crisis is not uh, resolved or is negatively resolved, that results into uh, personality imperfections. So with this we will go to all the eight stages and we will be discussing one by one each stage. So the first stage is trust versus mistrust. This is 0 to 1 year as we have discussed in Freud's theory also. This is the infancy phase when a parent is expected to show warmth, love, affection to the infant and if the parenting is fulfilled with all these things then the infant starts trusting his or her environment and if that is not given then the infant develops mistrust over uh, his or her environment for example if we are delaying uh, feeding the child or the parents are dealing harshly with the infant then the infant develops mistrust over his or her environment and that we could see in later stages so the action is trust development and uh, if it is positively resolved then trust relaxed and optimistic personality is seen in later stages and if it is negatively resolved then uh, the being sees life as unpredictable so coming to the second stage that is autonomy versus shame and uh, this phase is from one to three years so in this phase uh, generally uh, children adopt new mental and motor skills and if the parents encourage them in uh, using these skills for example uh, we can see in this stage uh, uh, children want to do little little activities by their own self for example they want to feed themselves with a spoon and they copy and they uh, they are buttoning something or unbuttoning something so parents are expected to encourage them in doing these little things and if we encourage then they develop autonomy and in case if we restrict them and not allow them to utilize that mental and motor skills that they are developing, then they develop shame or doubt. So the action is independence fostered by mastery and positive resolution leads to good sense and command of their willpower and negative resolution leads to fear being exposed as inadequate. Going to the next stage, that is initiative versus guilt. That is three to six years. In this phase, uh, we have a characteristic of make-believe play. We often find children playing different roles that they observe in their environment. For example, they play the role of teacher or uh, a parent, father, mother. Basically, they want to uh, experiment with these roles and are preparing themselves to look up to taking new responsibilities. So this feeling should be encouraged and uh, positively uh, they should be encouraged for it. So if this happens, they develop initiative feeling and opposite of it, if we overburden them with expectations, then they develop guilt in later stages. So the action is exploratory attitude and positive resolution leads to clear sense of what they want in life and the negative resolution of it would lead to self-respective and fear of making mistakes. So moving on to the next stage. 
Next stage is industry versus inferiority that is 6 to 12 years that is late childhood. In this uh, phase we find that children move to school and lots of peer interactions happen and generally in this capacity building for uh, cooperative work takes place. So if children have positive experiences with family and in school then they develop industry and they're able to develop capability to work together with people and in case they have negative experience for example bullying in school or maybe the family uh, people uh, give some negative experiences to the child then they develop inferiority in their later stages so the action is enjoyment of mastery comes through success and recognition we should recognize their little little achievements and positive resolution would result in relish achievement and like to tackle challenge and negative resolution would lead to feel inadequate, incapable, lack of ambition. The next stage is identity versus confusion. So now we have moved on to the adolescence phase that is 12 to 18 years. As identity is concerned, as the child is born and is placed in a cradle and starts seeing his her hands, legs and the feeling of individuality comes uh, other than the environment, the process of identity development starts taking place. But the focus of identity development happens in adolescence. When adolescents start uh, feeling who I am or what place I have in the society. So these questions start emerging in this phase of adolescence. Therefore, Erickson has named it as identity versus confusion. So the adolescents start resolving a number of crises that is related to role confusions and try to develop uh, commitment over their values and uh, whatever they want to do in life. So identity has two aspects, exploration and commitment. They explore various uh, things, for example, the sort of jobs or occupation they would uh, take in future or the subjects that they want to study and even in relationship they start exploring. And if they, after exploration, they come to commitment, they, is, they resolve their confusions, then they develop into healthy personalities and in case these uh, crises or role confusions are not resolved, that results into conflict in who they are and what they want to do in future. So this was identity versus confusion. The other stages we'll be discussing in the next video. Thank you.